The U.S. women's basketball team is going for its eighth consecutive gold medal. It would be a record at the Olympics and cement the dynasty that is American women's basketball. Here are the biggest storylines that everyone needs to pay attention to. Diana Taurasi making her sixth Olympic team. She's 42 years old, so she's not going to play 40 minutes a game, most likely. But you cannot discount her leadership and experience. She would also want you to know that she is going to Paris to earn one more gold medal than her best friend Sue Bird, the longtime point guard who has five gold medals. Brittany Griner makes her return to international competition. After being locked up for nearly a year in a Russian prison, Griner missed the FIBA World Cup in 2023, USA Basketball did not let anyone wear her number 15, convinced that she would make her return, and she will. Not that many years ago, Kalia Copper was a second team All Big Ten guard at Rutgers. She never made an All-American team. She sat on the bench a lot in the beginning of her WNBA season. Now she is one of the top scorers in the league, a WNBA final MVP, a WNBA champion. She is going to be able to play numerous guard positions and most importantly, guard. Who's gonna be their biggest competition? Well, how about in pool play, they will meet up with Belgium. It took them a buzzer beater in the Olympic qualifying tournament to beat Belgium. France has a lot of talent on their roster. A couple of those players are WNBA regulars in Gabby Williams and Marie Johannes. I do expect the US women to bring home an eighth consecutive gold medal. I don't think it will be as easy a road as others, but bottom line, Asia Wilson is the best player in the world and she's gonna show it in Paris. This is huge too because women's basketball is experiencing a surge in popularity like we have never seen before. And these 12 women are gonna come back to the second half of the WNBA season and probably help lead another rating spike.